Hey guys, Dino here. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for watching. Uh, so today we have a fun one. We are doing a follow-up review, sort of, on my Land Yachts Loco Tiger, which is uh, this crazy tiger right here. So this is a fun board. I think my original video I had it titled as uh, Double Kick Heaven. This is a pretty fun board. Very fun, you guys. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about we're going to talk about some of the features, we're going to talk about some of my impressions, I'm going to talk about some changes I might make to the current setup, and then some pros and cons. Uh, so before I do that, I'm going to go over the specs with you guys, of course, just because I want to make sure that you have, uh, you know, the dimensions of the board, so when I'm talking about different things, it might help. Uh, so we have the deck, the overall length from nose to nose is 36.75 inches. The width of the board is nine and a quarter inches, which is pretty nice. I do ha like having at least a nine inch width for this type of a board. Um, I've noticed on my popsicle boards, like my Santa Cruz board, I think it's an 8.6, and that's perfect for boards like that where I'm trying to work on training for shovets and things like that, or aerial type tricks where maybe I'm doing an ollie or something. Um, it's nice to have a little bit narrower deck because it not only reduces weight, it also makes it more nimble and easier to kind of flick around so um, you know for this type of a cruiser style deck I do prefer a little bit of a wider board now the wheelbase on this deck is 19 and a quarter inches yeah 19 and a quarter inches which is pretty long it's pretty long um, I mean you do have a basically a 30 knit 37 inch board but a 19 and a quarter inch long wheelbase is pretty long um, then for the wheels on this board I'm using the orangutan wheels a 65 millimeter fat freeze the yellow, so those are in the 86A. I really do enjoy those wheels. Um, they they absolutely maintain a really, really good rolling speed and they're easy to push. So I don't know if it's because of their, the hardness of them, but I, I like the blues too. So I just, the Fat Freeze are really nice. They're rounded lip, uh, so it's super nice. The trucks, the trucks for this board, I have the 169 Independent Hollows. Now I do have a bushing upgrade on that. I went ahead and updated it, upgraded to the independent hard 94A bushing, the black bushings. Uh, so that's kind of what I have for the setup of the board. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the features of this board. So the features, uh, at least my favorite features of the board, uh, the double kick. So obviously I keep mentioning that. That's not the first time I mentioned it, probably not gonna be the last time I mentioned it. Uh, but the, I, I do really love that it's a double kick board. Now, one of my favorite aspects of this board in particular, let me grab it real quick here, um, is the angle of these, the tail here and the nose. It's, you know, they're, it's more, the nose and the tail are designed more like a street deck, which I love. And, uh, sorry, I don't want that to fall. Uh, so yeah, I, I love how it's set up like a street deck. Um, if you compared the nose and the kick, uh, the nose and the tail to something like my loaded basalt test rack, which is a nice board, it's a premium board, I love it. Um, but the nose and the tail are much more mellow, which again is fine because they're you can definitely do a lot with them. But it's just it's a different style, and at least for me where I'm at, it's this something like this is a lot easier, and it could be just the the lighter board you know i guess i'm comparing it to the tesseract or it could be the stiffness which is another feature that i really like the stiffness of the deck uh you know as i mentioned before to you guys i really do enjoy a stiffer deck for certain types of writing um, the wheel wells on this deck are really nice they're well placed so when i'm doing certain things it lets me kind of lock my feet in so i do like that a lot the concave of this board the concave is super nice it really allows me some excellent foot placement while I'm riding, making it very comfortable. Um, okay, so that's kind of my favorite features of the board. So I'm gonna talk about really um, the only con that I have for this board is that I, I kind of wish it would shrink down maybe two inches. Um, you know, instead of being 37 inches, maybe being uh, what, 35 inches. 35 inches would be perfect. Maybe even 36, I guess we can get away with that, you know, an inch shorter. But the wheelbase, 18 inch wheelbase maybe would be nice. Uh, that would give you a little bit longer of a nose and the kick tail, or nose and tail. But, um, you know, I think that shortened wheelbase would be a really nice feature. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's really the only thing that I have as far as cons. Now, as far as regards to changes I would make, uh, the only thing I might do is change out the wheels for maybe something a little smaller, like a 63 millimeter or maybe some 59 millimeter G, uh, G slides. And then I'm, pro I'm thinking about swapping the angle risers around because I have it set up to be more stable uh, to de-wedge. And I think if I wedged it, it'd give me more turning and make it just a lot more lively and more fun. So, all right guys, so now we are gonna talk about my favorite part, obviously, the pros. So some of the things I like about the board. Some of the things obviously I have already talked about, the concave, the writing platform. So having a nine and a quarter inch deck, obviously you guys can see here, it's pretty wide. Uh, not overly wide, though it's not 10 inches, which I think on this deck would be too much. But the nine and a quarter inch width, coupled with the concave of this board, gives you the perfect writing platform, you guys. When I was skating out there, it was absolutely perfect. I was had lots of places to place my foot and comfortably push, uh, which probably aided in the speed in which I was able to push. Um, the the you know even the length that is that it is now, although I would prefer it a little shorter, um, it's the perfect size for cruising, you guys. It's you know you still have that popsicle board shape, which I absolutely love, but you have that long big riding platform that you get on a nice cruiser board. So, you know, they completely cross those two worlds together, I think, perfectly. Um, the versatility of, again, the shape of the deck, having the nose and the tail set up the way that they are as a street style setup, uh, but again, giving you the, the riding platform of a cruiser deck just gives you a lot that you can, you can do so much with this deck. I mean, there's enough of a writing platform you can probably even do some dancing on it. I mean, I probably couldn't because, you know, I'm not that good, but uh, there's a lot of people that I'm sure could, for sure. So, I mean, six months down the line, do I love the deck still? Absolutely. I absolutely love it. Uh, this is probably one that I will keep. I don't know if I'll throw this up on my website for you guys because um, I, I really I really do like it so much. But um, I am going to probably swap those angled risers around to make it a little livelier. And we'll see if I slide, if I change the wheels. Maybe I'll throw on my, my snakes on there just to see, even though those are one millimeter larger, to see how it feels. Or I can throw on my uh, current G slides I have and see how that feels. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you uh, following me along in this journey. For all my new subscribers, if you're still here, if you're still watching, uh, don't forget to subscribe so that way you make sure to be entered in, in the drawing for the land yachts drop hammer that I'm giving away once we hit a thousand subscribers. So thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay strong, get out and skate, or do something that makes you happy. Have a great day guys. Thank you.